Yeah, you did it. Now I gotta, like, capture this video game on this time slot. What is this? Capture, motherfucker. There we go. I do have to use the controller on this game. I mean, you don't have to. I like it better than keyboard and mouse. Welcome back to Etrian Odyssey. I probably should have done some... Do I really need to buy anything? Hmm. Oh, I think you're mostly set outside of a few, like, ludicrously expensive pieces of gear, but... Uh, I mean, like, Hosh is not an attacker. I already got these for the, t for the mages. Oh, uh, there is the big dick katana. That's only a 10 attack increase. What was that? Torpa, is Tyra okay? No, but I am having trouble hearing at the moment. What's wrong? <laughs> Come on, you gotta let the bit ride a little longer. To be fair, that was also my joke. <laughs> I'm aware I was fucking leaning in on you guys. I didn't want the bits to go on for too long. Gold gun. Also, the Ag Buster. What does gold gun say? A golden gun that can be easily dismantled. Oh, yeah! Top tier. What? What was that you cut out? Why is that top tier? It is not top tier, I mean, it is simply the re most recent one. I mean, easily dismantling something is a good attribute for a gun. You want to be able to take it apart to clean it. It's also a reference to the James Bond movie where the man with the golden gun disassembles it into a lighter. Come on, oh. guys! I'd never fucking watched James Bond, okay? Sorry, I- I got the reference, I was just confused as to why that would be useful. Well, they just wanted to, it's, it's, it's Atlas, well, no, it's different, it's, it's actually apples and oranges. I was going to make the reference to, um, to, uh, Disgaea 1, where the weapon Berserker has the, has the flavor text, my love for you, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I will have you know that is nipple itchy. Yep. But this is Atlas, so it doesn't really jive all that well. Actually, wait, hey, no. no. Nipponichi doesn't have any nipples in their games, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I forgot, if we want to advance the plot forward, uh... <laughs> they would if they weren't cowards. No, 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 no. I want to nap. I want it to be nighttime video game. Because oh, right, you got a side quest, don't you? Do I? Do you? Technically I do, but practically not. No. In order to advance the dungeon, it needs to be hey, nighttime. Wang, look at your inventory. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> you thought you thought, huh? I should probably no. buy more. I'm allowed to worry. You are allowed to worry. But also I should buy more. When are we getting the the stove check option, but for warp wires. I think it's kind of an implied agreement that that's what stove check is now. Don't I have a save button too? Did someone say stove? Yeah. So I have made a fucking imperative of this scenario, given what we learned recently about this game, and how this fucking post-game dungeon is awful. I will in fact be using a map for it. Just so that this section of the stream doesn't take a million years. Yeah, I, uh, Nearly every floor- because... Nearly every floor is a teleporter maze. Oh, and there, there's gimmicks to them, too. It's terrible. This one is... I was... 
This one is you can never beat the dungeon in the morning because the appropriate path is at night. Yeah, I was uh, I was talking with Wang earlier, and then this game came up, so I ended up looking up the maps. So I'm like, oh my god, this is disgusting. So if if I am just completely disconnected from chat, you know you know why. Why? Because I have the map up. You can't. Don't you have two monitors? Three, but uh. Well, I suppose I could cover Discord with the map. Yeah, who needs Discord? Actually, there's a better way to do this. One second. Uh, make this. Oh, uh, what is that, Anora? Make this a new window. Put this to the right, and then I can see chat in the map. My brain is so big. So this area, I want to go this way. And from here, I want to go into a fight. Oh my god, this is so big. Oh no. Oh no, the, the, the dicks have spikes now. Why are they so huge? Uh, I hate it. I see. These new ones have pearly penile papules. <laughs> this is just Breath of Fire 2 all over again, isn't it? Oh, it's so... It looks like they can't come from hyper furry artwork. <laughs> oh my god. The cock shrooms have finished blossoming. Dare you enter my magical realm? No. No! <laughs> this really does feel like the vibe of you just someone ran a D&D session and they just hyper detail a mushroom and everyone's just leaning backwards. Just kill it as fast as possible. Yeah, no, once again, I, uh... In the you D &D stumble game upon that I... a mushroom and it looks like a cock. <laughs> yeah, no. In a D&D game I finished, at one point we were doing a raid on a, uh, a wizard's mansion. And he, all of his... He, he had no staff there. Or anything. It was all homunculi doing everything. And we were so intensely disgusted by the description of the homunculi that we systematically killed every single one of them. To the point where the DM stopped making us roll. <laughs> Got can, the can you describe the homunculi or will that get high wing banned? I won't get high wing banned. It ma so one of the ones that was there, the one that uh, usually comes to mind, is imagine sort of like uh, uh, a medium sized like sort of gremlin creature, but for in for its mouth, it's it's large open mouth that hangs down at the chin, sort of like an albatross. Uh huh. And it was shoveling garbage into it. Gross. So oh, we all I see. It was uh, a walking trash can. See my Ew. see my first thought is basically um my first thought is like the worst way instead of describing it, it would be like here here's a here's a picture that I drew of it. <laughs> basically everything ah! he had no staff but everything was purpose built there. Oh fuck! How do I stop this guy from completely demolishing my team? Uh, find the arms, remember. Him. Uh, do I deadlock? No, I, I don't think I risk deadline. Are you yeah, vulnerable? Would be a bad idea. Yeah, well, like I got I got Trigger on on arm bind. God damn it! Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god! Motherfucker, I thought you provoked! Already off to a great start. Hell yeah, motherfucker! Get quadruple S ass man up! Oh my fucking god!
Oh, this stream's off to a great start. Fucking it was a good fucking opener. It's a great fucking start today. Run away! Do I even have a revive? Oh, is that worth it? You may as well just reload. So you know the problem with this. In order to get to this spot specifically, there are two FOEs in both pathways doing the exact same fucking thing. Oh, nice. So I think... Maybe we should. How am I gonna dodge them is the issue. Very they carefully. Because they only appear when they're you're adjacent, so like, you can't really get there. Uh, the answer is, be psychic. I mean, I am psychic, the but even The answer is, fuck you, this is an Atlas post-game dungeon. Look, Faust knows all, but she can't react to literally everything. <sighs> She doesn't react to most things, really. She just sighs, which is kind of how I feel right now. Oh my god, it's the exact same script. I really like the synth in this song. It's good. Oh, are you talking about Floor 30, Divine Hero? No, wait. Floor 30 is not the, uh, the Minotaurs. Floor 30 is the 12 Raptors. I love how we keep comparing it to Untold. Look, the thing I appreciate most about uh, untold is that you can murder the shit out of the uh, the final final DLC boss in five turns with potato farmers. Kind of like how we could murder the final boss of Darkest Dungeon One with four dogs, but we can't do that anymore in two. But yeah, all dogs go to heaven though, and that's what matters. All the do all the good boys went to heaven. Like, when somebody brought it up to where you can't do duplicate characters in, in Darkest Dungeon 2, I was like, oh yeah, you can't. Man, that kind of sucks, actually. I thought there was an option for that, I just didn't see the point. In 2, I didn't see any option. I don't know, all I know is on the Wiki Divine Hero, it said, uh, you can beat that bad boy in five turns with five survivalists. You can play your cards right. That takes us to five. Oh. I hate this fucking mushroom, dude. Holy shit. It's so throbbing. Also, am I killing them on first shot of Mita Reba? I do not like this turgid mushroom. We are where we need to be to advance the scenario. But there are no shortcuts here. Suffer. I need to finish Darkest Dungeon 2, but I've been putting it off because 
I really got burnt out on my first attempt at it. I got burned out at attempt three when I realized, oh, I'm just doing the same things as Dark Ascension 1 again, but five times now, and with a game that's even meaner. Like, I wanted to like DD2, but it felt a lot more antagonistic in design. Yeah, that's my issue with it. Well, we got... By and large. We got that floor done. And now, the floor that I don't like. Wait. What the hell? Oh, you're a son of a bitch video game. Why is it a son of a bitch? Well, I thought we were going to immediately go to floor 27, but uh, I don't think I am. Actually, no, this is weird. What the hell? <coughs> oh, I see. And what is this note here? Am I just reading this wrong? What's the note? Uh, purple one on floor 27. Oh, it's a warp destination. Okay. So I thought we were going to be doing floor 27, which I would like to call, hey, you know that game you practiced as a kid on all the couches that made your parents pissed? That training's going to come in handy. But instead, we gotta go oh. this way. Oh boy, the floor finally is lava. Yeah. But no, instead we go to floor 28, which I like to call... Do you like onions? I like what jazz. What if you were peeled like an onion? Then you would be an ogre. Okay, what is this fucking mess that I have to do? Is this another one of those things with optimal paths in teleporters, or do I just have to, like... Find the right path and go. Uh, for what? Floor 28. E27? No, we're on floor 28. Honey. Uh, to which I say suffer. <sighs> of course you would. Uh, it is, it is oh. very much an <laughs> optimum path. I'm the King's Art. Look at this little crowd. I, I do yeah. love that his face just looks all melty. Oh my god. This like, is once so again, good. when you leave out like a shitty plastic toy for too long in the sun. Uh, all I could say is you. Respect my authority. Oh my god, your carbuncle, really? Oh, Carby, you've, uh, really let yourself go, huh? Yeah, right? Well, I say to you, my friend, is die. Death is certain. Death is inevitable. And now get a stupid... well... I'm still sad that they apparently changed the names of Bloodman and Deathman in Untold. I know, right? How could you say no to the Bloodman? It's it's a tragedy. Wait, what did they change them to? Uh, Bloodman is Bloody Soldier and Deathman is Cursed Knight. Boo! <laughs> yeah, they're very boring. Wait, am I looking at this wrong? No, I'm not. The door in front of you is so choked with vines that it's hard to grab onto the doorknob. Wait, wait, these have doorknobs? Oh, you know. There seems to be nothing you could do here. You give up on the door and walk away. Look at the door dejected. Okay. Requires event two on floor twenty-seven to enter. Require 
like Shadow of the Castle Terminator. Am I just fucked on something? I mean, this is Etrian Odyssey. You are fucked at all times in various di different ways. New and exciting ways half the time. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reviewing the data that we that I have been given to me. <laughs> they all look that so you scared. you have been given to you. Yes. You want to double down on that again? Yes. Okay, then. I was given this data by the council in order to make sure that this wouldn't be a slog. No, I... That's just a, just an odd way of phrasing it. <laughs> oh, Tiger could really fuck something up real bad, actually. Mm. I'm in the mood for it. Just in the mood to ruin someone's life. Which we might be able to real soon. These guys even do. Man, it's a good thing I had the mages attack, cause who, buddy? Apparently, Cassandra's not a closer. Which means the next thing should be there. Oh, I don't like that thing. Monkey. It's got really long nails. I don't like that. <laughs> Epo nail. Feel the fear. Oh, Christ, all my work is undone. Yeah, fuck this. I guess it's Mita Reba or Bust. That evil eye just dissipated on him instantly. Holy shit. Was a jet for something I needed? Also, for the sake of myself, because I kind of fucking need it here. No, it's it's the awful grandpas. Oh, listen, sir, you need to listen to your own so disrespectful with your TikToks and your Fortnite dances and I thought you said soda respectful. Back in my day we used to call it a carbonated beverage. You kids just call it soda all day. No respect for an English language! You will teach you some manners! Teach me manners by reducing my offense, yeah. Was he weak too? Just gotta wait till the poison kicks in. Are my notes lying here? They said there would be an FOE here. Maybe it only shows up a day. Weird. 
There's a note here with a... The, the FOE note has a blue one, a red A, and a purple I as the notes, and I don't know what that means. But either way, I believe the only way to go is this way. And then for the next one, I have no idea where I'm going. But it looks like the entrance nearby where we need to go... Oh, okay. It's a good thing I did some fucking research. How do I get there? Okay, I think I have a heading. But I think I had a heading? I think- I mean, dear god, I hope I have a heading. This floor is just filled with awful people. God damn. Including us. Yeah. And here you see the Bloodman. Watch out for his sword. Hey, you. Here you see the Bloodman. In his natural habitat. Murdering adventurers. Look at this big sword. It's very turgid and veiny. I don't know. Oh, pie. No, those are the mushrooms. Don't bother using fungicide. That just makes them harder. I think I found the FOE. I think you did. Evil God. Pumpkin. Look at how happy he is. And here's what happens to the pumpkin you left out on your porch for a month after Halloween. It didn't rot, it just got angrier. Fuck this guy. Sucker. Is it time to go slashing pumpkins? Hell yeah. Isn't the band smashing pumpkins? Yes. You got it. I'm proud of you. Yay, do I get a star? Holy no. shit. No! <laughs> Bye, star! Mommy said I could have cookies if I get a star. Wow, I can't believe that works. Well, hey. then it sucks to be you, you're not getting any cookies. Fuck. Pale Bone and the Thorn Bone. The bone? Those the guys song. Wait, why, why does the pumpkin have bones? Because it's an FOE, they're really fucked up. So, if I'm reading the map right, we want to go this way, and then immediately go... Oh crap, I completely lost all sense of direction. That's kind of what happens when you use an external map. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> if we want this end in a reasonable amount of time, we kind of fucking need it. Gonna be dangerous. Hmm. Oh, wow, Tiger could just like one shot these things. There we go. 
Okay, so they disappear when not in combat. But at least I was able to kill one. And when I say kill one, I mean kill one hella dead. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's our old friend, Tiger. Oh, hey, it's the sick wood. <laughs> He's no longer T-posing. Still just as menacing, though. I'ma kill it. He's JoJo posing now. What if we poison the poison tree? You know, as a joke. Look, there are many different kinds of poison, so I'm sure it'd work. Turns out you didn't need to. Yeah, it's very weak to being chopped down. With the katana. Yeah, but it's like a really good katana. The finest Hanzo steel. Okay, so the next one should be... Around here. Molded over a thousand times by Master Craftsman. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, riddle. I apologize to any viewers here live or on the archive that was hoping for a genuine experience about this. But I say to you, heck mazes. I, I say to you, look at the fucking map for yourself. Cause man, fuck this shit. Let me go here. And then... You have to go a ways. Oh, oh, this is the... Hmm? What the fuck is that thing? Trihorn! Simple name, I like it. I like how we're in floor sticks and we're still relying on poison. Look, Kat, I, I'll give you a gift so you can you can witness. I did my time once upon a time, and that time was fucking Shin Megami Tensei, Tensei Strange Journey. Uh, redo, where there's not one, but three teleporter mazes. And guess what? That's not even, like, the f first version of it. Because didn't this come before Strange Journey or after? Mm, I think it was after. Oh, so Strange Journey set a precedent. Fucking radical. Man, we got help. Okay, wait, wait. Surprise! That's not the FOE I was expecting. After doing more research, uh, this by one year. This specifically one year. Etrian Odyssey by two. Was was uh older. Oh, this is older. Mm hmm. Okay. So yeah, this set a precedent. And I've done my time, and I say fuck that. Oh please, awful teleporter mazes way predate these series. Yeah, that's true. Might be for like an Atlas game. I've been in the mines, I desire them not anymore. Exactly, a Lulane. Was there a teleporter maze in Evo Koshi? I legitimately do not remember. Oh, piss and vinegar. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh god, what the fuck am I gonna do? Cry about it.
Ooh. Okay. Good. Oh my fucking god, dude. Welcome to the infinite pumpkin dimension. Well, it's not infinite, it's just that we're getting extremely unlucky. I think I'm gonna buffer a self too, just in case. It also doesn't help that I have no TP. Oh, we finally get to see my force. Isin, slash all enemies in an attempt to kill with a single stroke. Also, Tiger is running low on TP too. Might as well just use, keep using our forces. Because we kind of fucking need them now. Oh my god. Well, I think Kurushi's force was kind of wasted, honestly. And that's just my bad. That's not even poison anymore, wow. Another pumpkin! Yeah, it's time to go. Wait, you cannot escape uh, you this. Can uh, your back's against a wall, you can't run. Are you fucking ch Oh my god. Welcome I, to the pumpkin dimension. I think we just lose here. This was, without a doubt, the worst place to do that. I think we could be cool with me just, you know, killing the program instead of just dying slowly. Yes, please. I don't want to be trapped in that dimension. Yeah, I, I, I saw that corner of the room where it was like, it was showing that, but they didn't mention the fucking raptor there. Oh no, they did. It's just that it was not where I was looking. <clears throat> so this is incredibly awkward because beyond that corner is a fucking raptor and I have no TP. Oh, the question is, what's its patrol path? Hey. Hey, Wag. Alright. Yeah, this raptor's a son of a bitch. It's a goddamn trap. Also, admittedly, I did kind of do this fight wrong out the gate. Because we set, we, set, we set up the turn first, and then we just go for it. The worst part is that they're purple FOEs too, so you can't see them on the minimap, so you have no idea just how fucked you are.
Turns out when you have fucking force up and you can just full bind anyone on a whim, the game's really easy. Now here's where the game's a cocksucker, because if you get encounters anywhere near here, you are just in the pumpkin zone because these flower beds are where the FOEs spawn. Forever trapped on Pumpkin Hill. Gotta find my lost piece. Oh, I see where the notes are now. Great Emerald's power. I don't that's like the only lyric I know of that song because it's what would repeat when I played that game as a kid. When I was stuck please, in the please. It allows you to feel. God. Born on an island in the heavens. The blood of my ancestors flows inside me. I'm going to crush you too. <laughs> that song I've haunts. Wrong. That song has haunted my fucking dreams. <laughs> I, I fucking love that song. I don't know why it sounds like a skill issue to me. It was. I was a dumb idiot kid back then. Also, I'm I'm quoting unknown from Emmy, not Pumpkin Hill. Oh. Pfft. Wait, there's another FOE here? Oh my fucking god, there is. How are we supposed to do this? I mean, I, I could launch into a spoken word version of the ghost pumpkin soup, Pumpkin Hill, stage 06 of the hero story, but... Oh wait, uh, the answer is we're not supposed to. I'm, I'm not going to because I can't rap. Because I'm very white. We go here, then we go here, and then this should be the end of the onion zone. Oh, I'm premature again. I never actually uh, played a Sonic Adventure two. I played Sonic Adventure one. Mm, I didn't I, have to. I shouldn't say anything because I would be saying something in a mean spirit. You no, go ahead and be mean to me. No, I'm not mean to you. I would be mean to Sonic Adventure 2 fans. I mean, I've heard that it's aged poorly, and that's probably correct. I mean, Honora has a point, Tiger. Okay, you know what? That's fair. But the Beastie Boys could rap. I, and, I can. And they could rap about a fucking mixed drink, too. Brass Monkey is one of their fa best songs. So now we find ourselves in floor t back down in floor 27, which means I put that map icon wrong. One second. But here specifically, if I'm reading the map right, is something we're, where we need to do in order to progress properly. Because funny th story about floor 27, it's a real son of a bitch. It's a real piece of shit. Because you do not need to explore 90% of floor 27. You only need to go to one spot. And your the way to find that spot is predicated on what you do on floor 28. Though, technically... I don't know. There's a warp out. But why would you ever warp out of this place? Oh, I don't like the look of those vines, dude. Oh my god. But what's over here? You come upon a sort of pedestal entwined by a multitude of tree roots. Touch the pedestal. After clearing away some of the roots, you touch the pedestal. A mysterious light emanates from the pedestal, causing all the roots to wither and die. The light eventually fades away along with the roots that formerly co covered the pedestal. But nothing else seems to have happened. You leave the area in bewilderment. I wonder if that's going to 
fix the thing in the other area. Gee Willikers. Well, we could figure that out another time as I get the fuck out of here. As I actually feel get like super the... tired. Oh, you're heading out? So I am gonna get the fuck out of here. Alright, later, dude. Yeah, later, y'all. Huh? Time to leave and take a nap. You know, last night I had a dream about having a pet dog. <laughs> was it a quack? Uh, no, it was a duck. It's not any sort of doctor, much less a quack doctor. Okay, I did, in fact, choose the right button, thank goodness. Ducks are cute. I don't think I would be able to take care of one, though. I don't have enough space. Okay, so then from here on this thing, we could just go... No, we have to go to the door, that's right. Oh, this thing is very confusing. Did you get another... Mmm. Good call, chat. Boy, I sure hope this is the right load. Sorry, I got distracted by uh, having to modify the stream layout. I'm distracted by ducks. I can't carry any more items. We forgot the escape flyer, F-O-E! Oh, wow, 24 grand, holy shit. Ambrosia? Where the fuck do I get that? Oh, let's get some Emerita. I feel like I need it. Flashbow, Noir Queen, Gunier. No new armor, one new accessory, but I need a cat's eye. Now here's the question, chat. Is this where I in fact finally get pop, pop leaves? And if so, where? Are you guys still alive? Clean kill? The roots covering the door are all dead. Could this be related to the pedestal? The door no longer bars your path. Open it and proceed into new territory. I love reducing this game's stream time by, like, a solid 10 hours. Because I could absolutely see me just fucking dying there so many times. And these are stairs up. Up to where, you say? An imposing door. While walking through the forest of the gods, you suddenly see a familiar shadow before you. It is Kanan, chief of the winged ones. There is a crisis at hand. Do you remember how I told you of the Enderbringer? Once the sword seal was removed, it began to act. 
Monsters hey, from what? the Monsters from the Forbidden Wood are now descending through Yggdrasil Strata. Our sacred, oh, that's bad. Our sacred ground was also attacked. We were able to fight them off, but... I fear the rest of the monsters are headed directly for your city. You must return swiftly, interns. The monsters have almost reached High Lagard. If the chief speaks the truth, then the whole city is in mortal danger. You must head to the forest near the labyrinth ent entrance and investigate at once. That's bad. It's a good thing we got three wires. So, what the fuck is going on at the entrance of the labyrinth? Immediately upon entering the floor, a guard rushes headlong towards you, screaming, no! Hello! Despite his desperate haste, you manage to stop him long enough to ask what happened. Monsters! They're nothing like the regular kind! Let me go! I'm begging you! The moment you loosen your grasp, he wriggles free and runs like the wind for the exit. There can be no doubt that the monsters on this floor are now overwhelming the guards. The warning you received was not in jest. You must ready your weapons and prepare to fight these dreadful beasts from on high. That's bad. Where do I fight them? Oh, is it the two up on the corner? There's three of them. Interesting. Oh, this is funny. Is this the game's <laughs> way- Is this the game's- <laughs> This is the game's way to show us that we are hella strong now. Oi, hey, fuckers. What? That was just this thing. Apparently it's not that thing to scoff at. Yes it is. The Greed Bud. I love seeing my character do 4,000 damage to an enemy. Ah, so the fire skill was still not worth it. I was so tempted to throw a meter rape out there. The final thrust pierces the monster's vitals, ending its life. Thrust of the whip? The ground shakes as the creature falls to the ground, and silence reigns once more. A second attack of the sort you grimly realize would overwhelm the guards. You must hurry to the force of the gods and settle the matter. <clears throat> I believe if you try to go forward on floor 21, uh, Kanan just stops you. J just says, yo, what the fuck, buddy? Ah, People are dying up here. Eh, yeah, time will be alright. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> now the time to run that lap again. Who, buddy? Untold 2, they cut the event, but left dialogue in. Wait, what? How would you know that? Oh my fucking god, you losers. Let me out of here. Their giant man nipples with actual nipples that I could see that they edited out. Is floor 29 a floor? Oh, yeah. Floor 29 is a floor. I forgot about this. Hey, chat. Remember what I talked about with teleporter mazes? Because who, buddy, check this shit out. This is a mick fucking teleporter maze.
429 in this version is vicious. Oh, I noticed. Yeehaw. So, luckily, the map makers made it to where it's easy to process what's going on with this map, and it looks way less intimidating than what it is. But it really does, in fact, suck. Later, suckers. We are now at point one. Our next objective is point two. But I believe this area has three FOEs to worry about. And also the moths. Moth. Uh, they will die horribly, I say. For her, I'm gonna. I got this for her. I'm gonna use it. God damn it! Yeah, I'm aware of the foe. Oh, never mind. I lied. I wasn't aware of the foe. Okay. I should be able to swing this. Because we want to go specifically here. That brings us to two. In which case, I want to go this way to three. Three brings me... to a door. We don't want to go through that door, I don't think. Yeah, we don't want to go through this door because the only thing through this door is a Naughty Boy event and a, uh, a mine, a chop point specifically. So if we want to get resources here at some point, we could do that. We should mark that door just in case. So from here we want to go south. Somehow that doesn't look right though. Oh, where did I get sent? Oh, I fucked it. I really fucked it. Oh no. The only options for me right now are... Where's eight? Eight could allow us to course correct. Where's nine? Nine would also allow us to get out of here. Would course correct us. What's ten? Basically, any teleporter out of here gets me where I need to go, but. Uh, what is this for? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if we just go up, up. Right, right, right. We go to nine. From if we go from nine north, we have a fight where I'm just gonna fucking run. I am in no mood, my dude. That takes us to one where I have to. I'm 
I think I have to reconfront the foes? actually course correct this really awkwardly so let's actually go here because from six if we go to if it goes south to 17 we could go left back to three and we're back at the funny door that I dismissed earlier because I don't know how to read maps So we do have to take the funny door around Teleporter 7, which caused me this whole headache in the first place. Do you have any, does anybody have any questions? I know this is all confounding. I was looking at ducks the whole time. <laughs> As you should, it's a better use of your time. Ducks are so cute. I don't know, have you seen their teeth? Yeah. Okay then. Cause I saw a duck teeth once and it fucking scared the hell out of me. I think it was specifically penguin teeth though, now that I'm thinking about it. Penguin and geese teeth are the one, but I think all like I believe any bird with teeth are really fucking weird. I mean I'm pretty sure like all of the really scary ones you see are photoshopped. I don't know, man. Who would lie about something that terrifying? People would go on the internet and lie like that? <laughs> Especially Republicans. Okay, now that we have dodged that door, we go to four. From four. Oh, man. This path is especially stupid. Oh, fun fact. Alongside this path, there is a farm spot that we can only get to if we only have three people on our team. Oh, cool. It is also a spot where, where it has a chest that has $500,000. Yeah. I hope you're ready for a fucking expedition. Here, I think I absolutely want to scam. Because. Yeah, I just completely ran into that, didn't I? I don't think they're aggressive. Never mind. I was 200% lying. They are so aggressive. Oh my god. Tiger's nowhere near a uh, bind stage. I mean, Ilu Lane, that's something you sh share with Hai Wang now. What? No, I was just dumb and never tried to reclass the useless party members in Oh What Now. Oh, this is ass. You might be fucked. Oh, and there's another one down the hall. I don't know if it's attracted. I mean, we should be fine. Uh. 
Oh. Mmm. anymore. I have one turn in it, Radical. sucks. Have y'all seen the teddy bear with the human-like teeth? Oh my god, what? No, link it. I want to see. So I got a poisoned and it's dampened, so I think I think Aspen just vibes now. The reason I'm using Ice Wall is because when I saw him use the uh, Sleep Breath, it had a blue border, which instantly told me that it was a uh, it was a nice attack. And I'm assuming it's a breath, so I think hitting it in the head would be a good idea. You know, now that we know the foes gimmick, it's actually not that difficult. Got his ass. Got an ice horn and everything. Oh, was it vulnerable to death? I didn't even think about that. This teddy bear is supposed to make kids feel. Oh my god. <laughs> that just looks funny to me. <laughs> it looks like the bear's like, hey guys, how's it going? You wanna hear a joke? Huh? Oh, uh, look at chat. There's a very funny teddy bear linked. At least I think it's funny. Oh. Wait, wait do you not like the teddy bear? Mm. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go back to looking at ducks. <laughs> I like ducks. Ducks are in fact very cute. When they're not showing their teeth, that is. Oh god, the moment I get into a fight, I'm in some fucking trouble, aren't I? I'm just going to escape. Well, it actually gave me a head start against the FOE. We might be in a metric fuck ton of trouble. I sure hope it's not there. This might be a difficulty tweak. Hmm. We did Riptor in two turns before, right? That was because you had force, that's why. Mm, fuck.
That's a bold should, General Tank. And now the problem is here. Hmm. Because I'm more worried about sleep than whatever the fuck this thing has. Well, it's also dead next action, so... Let's fucking hope, dude. Oh, now you bind its head. Hey, I was right about the, uh, the thing. Now we should be fine. I just realized there's a very pointy pelvis. Y'all seeing this? He's got wings on his butt. No, butt's not what I'm looking at. Yeah, Carmine sees oh, it. Oh, that too. What if I can get it with the evil eye? Wings on his ass and an ass for a dick for an, an axe for a dick. He's got a dick like a chainsaw. He'll rip you in half. I understood that reference. I'm glad you did because I always get looked at weird whenever I say it. That the Duane and Brando songs are good, although they're very of their time. My answer for everything in this game is Mita Reba, Mita Reba, Mita Reba. Make sure that's not just the shade on shading. <laughs> Could be. Oh, is uh, is dampen not in effect? Cassandra, you suck. The one moment I didn't want you to go to sleep, you stupid, you stupid bitch. Yeah, holy shit, that song was 12 years ago. Well, it's head bound, so we don't gotta worry about the breath anymore. I mean, the Ronin has had more than enough TP to do what I want for most of the uh, dungeon. Especially against two fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex FOEs. It's just that we had to fight two Tyrannosaurus Rex FOEs at once. So I can see why I'm a little drained after that. May need a little bit of an energy drink after that. Too much uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex sting. Hey, what's this diamond doing in my pants? It's... it's Really brown. Oh. Why is there another? <laughs> another one. Uh, is that the way you have to go? That is, in fact, the way we must go. There well... We Time to fight another one. Luckily, he's simple. We could have just climaxed the other guy, couldn't we? Probably. I'm good at video games. Yeah, luckily this guy doesn't have gimmicks such as, like, Ice Breath, so we could just full guard our way to, to victory. Or I could also just have, uh, you know, Tiger end its suffering. I 
Actually, I think it might wind up with less than 50% HP after this. Yep. So that full bind was, um, pointless. I really should learn to play the game better. We can save so much MP if I just know what I'm doing half the time. That should be the last FOE in the area, though, and if there's another one, I'm gonna literally jump out of my chair. I have no time for you clowns. Apparently I have time for you clowns. I have made time in my day for you clowns. My stupid ass team can't run away. Oh my god, that's still alive. I don't like the fact that the, uh, the head has red around what looks like the puckering of the cacti. That's not a good look. Mm. You, you, you don't like the cactusy? No. I don't like the cactness. <laughs> no, Carmine. We're sharing the same brain cell and I'm taking it for a joyride. Now, how the fuck do I get out of this hellhole? Cactus juice. It'll crunch ya. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I don't want to think of... Oh god, did you hear that apparently in Arizona it's getting so hot that the cactuses are dehydrating? <sighs> By the way, go north here and you wind up in the bottom left corner. Now about that bottom left corner, there is a very naughty tile here. Because you do this whole route thing and you're just like, oh boy, is it here? Are we actually done? And then they give you fights so that you could, like, forget about it. Because the fights lead you to this open... Oh. Okay, I thought it was an invisible one. Don't take that teleporter. Because that teleporter you leads you right next to the teleporter that you just came from. Right. That is a speed trap through and through. One of Eggman's deadly speed traps. Oh boy, I sure hope Floor 30 has a, uh, a means of coming back here. Thank God it does. We are now on floor 30. I have activated the geomagnetic pole. I'm going to leave.
This is in fact the final floor. The Dragon Axe? Oh boy, what's that? Oh, that's just- that's such a good fucking axe, wow. Now hey, you wanna get the gimmick of Floor 30? I'll give you a hint. What the fuck have we been dealing with this entire map? Wings is skipping a lot of other post-game stuff. It's mainly quests that give you items, right? You got it in one, right? Correct, Carmine? Absolutely correct. Quests that lead to bosses. There's three quests that raise the level cap I, I, or C. Oh. I didn't know that. I think the big crime really is... Oh, wait. There are no ra- hmm. So, I slept, I saved. Which means we should... Be here. So, the big thing to know about Floor... 30 is that there are no random encounters but there are monsters here in fact there is one monster that a uh, stream audience member Nave the fish has been waiting for and there is a non-zero chance that we will be fighting it <laughs> oh boy but there are also a fuck ton of raptors does not get 100% of all items this thing. I mean I'll just uh, ask where's your 100% save file with, with which I will provide the one downloaded from Etrian Odyssey website like they will this floor is just FOEs yes I'm I have already pissed off the FOEs I guess being a streamer makes everybody inherently pissed takes us to a pier. Luckily, there's nothing spooky here. Luckily. However... See that door? Stop. Hard save here. Notes from Game FAQ Guides from Zarf Last Update 7 2008 there are no random encounters on this floor. However, there are six points where, which will force an enemy encounter with any monster found on the sixth stratum. Including some we haven't seen yet. Right. There is a 1 in 12 chance that our life is about to be ruined miserably. Gotta love it. Okay, we are not in trouble. Hmm, that's a uh, yeah, that's... certainly a brachiosaur-like creature. The thing looks fucking terrifying, doesn't it? Yeah. The Saramar. Buffer a salve too, just in case. This is what I was afraid of. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, it's not dead yet.
the poison will get it next turn, and Dampen will debuff the debuff. Well, at least he bound his head. And with a good old Meteoreba, we'll take this home, hopefully. I love you, Meteoreba. We've encountered the Saramar. That is encounter 11 of 12 of the potential candidates. 12 is the one I'm terrified of, if anybody is taking notes at home. Two will take us to... Okay. It's a good thing we don't have to worry about random encounters in this teleporter maze. Drop my controller. <sighs> well, the moth is dangerous. We have to respect the moth. This king of moths wears wings the color of death. The Brachiosaur is actually not that terrifying, honestly. It just looked spookier than it actually was. So we have succeeded on two lotteries so far. Three takes us over here. The dinosaur is actually a really weird hydra. Yeah. I just like calling it a brachiosaur because Kuoshi is a big uh, Jurassic Park fan. And I just like mispronouncing dinosaur names is all. I have not been quick saving these past two doors, ooh buddy. That one you never mispronounced. Really? Well, I guess the question is is it actually a Brachiosaur or am I just misattributing the name here? Oh. Maybe the Brachiosaur does fuck. So mistributing them is inevitable. Ah, I see. Well, we've passed the third lottery. This takes us to four. Where is four? Oh, four is the problem floor. So, this floor, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, because this is the, uh, the 12 Raptor room.
Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. If, if only you had something that would let you freeze FOEs in place. Oh, you're right. Otherwise, I think I'm just kind of fucked here, actually. The game gives you these tools. Maybe you should use them. Yeah. <sighs> I also, uh, I almost ran out of threads. Oops. Well, you're going to the traders anyway. Yeah, I just kind of wasted right into the FOE ballroom, huh? Just walked in like I owned the place. What Tiger is referring to specifically is a sell your shit, homie. New items. Oh, I guess we get a headpiece. Um... Sleep Bell. This is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. I'm probably buying. gonna need a few. <laughs> I'm buying five. Now, oh. That's probably a wise investment. You know what's a better investment? Escape thread. Yeah, that is definitely a puzzle of, um, I don't know why I thought I could just, like, walk in like I own the place. Well, time to face the lotto again. Where am I? Okay. It is nice that Floor 30 doesn't have random encounters and is very deterministic on what you do, but it is also, uh very evil on what it could do to you. I almost panicked. At least they've just been giving us the Brachiosaur and, you know, nothing actually mean. Because that, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the mean shit. Like, the encounter that's just, this is the epitome of fucking Etrian Odyssey right here. The supreme motherfucker. The big dick. We could just escape from these, can't we? Oh, you can't escape from this fight. Ew. Jesus Christ, how many attacks did it get? That terror gave us enough time to recover. No. Man, even with a guy, we are still almost at two hours to do this entire area. Like, this is 
fucked if we tried to do this legit. What I don't understand is why did they present the escape option if we are not allowed to escape anyway? Candy bars. Man, the game's been real fucking merciful. Right, TPR? This feels a little too, like, nice. Sam's taking forever to use that, yeah. And he's just slow? It might be, yeah. Also, your bind rate is really, like, on point today. Don't say that. It'll jinx it. <laughs> I've spoken the words and thus gave them power. Oh, weak to all elements. Interesting. There we go. Didn't even need to use a Meteoraba. Ah, <sighs> now the hard part. Because I have to do this in a sequence. It's from here. We have the raptors. So this will be our first sleep bell. One, two, three. And now I know where all of them are. I love this knowledge. Fucking kill me. Night. Get those motherfuckers. One, two, three. Out. Fun fact, in the top right corner of this quadrant, there is a, uh, there's a take point. Good luck trying to get there safely. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Also, the bottom left of this room of, uh, four rooms is a Medica. Just a base level Medica. You know, something you risk your life across 12 raptors for. Wink. And we have gotten out of the fuck zone. Nine raptors now know your location. <laughs> That'd be a fucking message to get on your phone. Nine raptors wish to know your location. That takes us to five. Where's five? for a second. Oh, the other three... Funnily enough, the other three in the 12 were not raptors. They were, uh, minotaurs. Ah, 
That Brachiosaur ain't shit, holy crap. Wait, no, no. Oh, he's not scared anymore. Fuck it. Fallen. Yeah, you know that you think about it, it's really as appropriate that the Minotaur is stuck in the labyrinth. Oh, there's an item here we could get real quick. We go here. There's a a test, a chest just here for us as a treat. No strings. What's in the box? No strings attached either. It could be anything. Even an Accelica too, which I believe is a wide attack buff. Wow. Oh, I guess it's just a single Brightly one. raises force. So does that stack with dead law, is the question. Uh, no, it increases your force, not oh, your attack. Oh, I see. So it makes you able to use your ultimate. Or at least... It makes is... you able to use it a lot sooner. Oh yeah, there you go. That's, that's the better ca caveat. Now, if you're wondering why a quick save in front of every fucking door, I am genuinely terrified of what could be beyond this door. God, Cassandra, what? I don't believe this. How do you keep rolling all these stupid dinosaurs? I don't know. Hey, anybody willing to do some detective work for me to see if the funny guy is gone or not? Dial. See if they are still in Etrius on Odyssey 2 HD. Because I refuse to believe Wang Luck is a factor here. Because that puts us at 7. Also, over here is a warp point. I'm sorry, not work. A gather point, but no one in a party is skilled at mining. Oh, there's actually another just area here where we can just get some stuff, just gratis. No strings attached, not even encounters. This game's getting really nice, and I'm worried about that. Dino Gator and EO, he's still in here. Okay, good to know. So it is in fact a Wang Luck. You know, Wang Luck, the thing that makes you lose 10 coin flips in a row this weekend. Good lord. Game's really scaring me right now. Wait, uh, what were the drops again? 
the drop the sick wood. Venom twig and life life honey. Oh. Well, the uh, the throb vine isn't back. What a shame. I think it might be back because we haven't seen it yet. I mean, it could be, I suppose. Ne never, never attribute to, never attribute something to be gone when we ha don't have all the information. Always just seem the worst. Oh, Carmine, thank you for doing the research. Don't say anything more. I want what happens with the muck dial to be a surprise. If we ever get to see it. Part of me also kind of wants to force it if we could, if we need to. Oh, what the fuck is this next area? Hang on, I have to look at something. Oh, I see. Okay. This area is a lot more threatening than I thought it would be. Because this is the one door that doesn't have a lottery. However, however if you thought it was going to be easy... <laughs> wow, you're stupid, my dude. Lamau, bye. the bastards. Oh, that's just awful. Hmm. Was there any way to deal with that? I don't think there was, because the right end has two more of these sons of bitches. Can I kill them in four turns is the question. Actually, if there was ever a time we're going to do this, it's fucking here. I think with headband, we don't have to worry about uh, sleep breath either. Oh, is that half health? I really hope it is. I think we have a bit of leeway anyway. Nice. You got 3,000 HP healed, my dude. Delicious. Time for the sleepy bell. Night, good night. Turns out buying five bells was exactly the right thing to do. Oh my god. Uh, that brings us to. Oh, that's ominous. Yeah, nine. But don't go there. 
Because there's a shortcut right here. Oh. And we're done with the floor. We now just have to fight the boss. But, uh... Incredible. Hey, chat. Should I try and force it? Well, trying to force it might, uh... Prove difficult. By merit of I have to keep going through the door. Well, I can just go to the first door and force it if we really want to see it. I think that'll be after the final boss. Because we have an hour to try and beat this boss. Polar Rod Gunier. What's a Polar Rod? I see. I don't know if it's better than what you guys have, just because I don't think it gives more TP. This is gonna be enough, is the fun part. Well, chat, we got this far, and I did it through all the power of forbidden knowledge. Let's look at our first super boss. After traversing so many floors, you have finally reached the labyrinth. The door before you radiates malice and danger as you've never felt in your journeys. You've come so far. Over your many travels, your strength and confidence have won your share of victories. Whatever lies beyond the door, you must face it with the same boldness and confidence. When you feel that you're ready, take hold of the door and open it to meet your fate. Fight well, and good luck. Let me load up a document on my phone real quick. Document, you say? This is the wrong page. This is Muck Dial Trauma, what am I doing here? It's strategy. Okay. We have it here. You pass through the door and are almost physically overcome by a fearful energy. The demon before you face must be the Endbringer, the most powerful monster in the labyrinth. There's little to do now, but meet your foe in open combat. You confer with the rest of your party to ensure that your equipment and inventory will suffice. You take a glance back at the demon. Once you are sure, all that remains is to fight. <laughs> 